Our first selection we've called Sudden Knockdowns. Those moments when, out of nowhere, there's a man on the canvas and the referee's counting. This has been a bit ragged. He's been uh, hitting around the back of the head, Kehoe. Blood streams from that cut by the side of the right eye as well. Landed cleanly several times. And oh, right oh, hand oh. from Kehoe, and Gallagher is down. Now, that definitely wasn't part of his rehabilitation script. That is a very, very nasty setback indeed. Kehoe's only ever scored three knockouts in 21 fights. He's not noted as any kind of puncher, and he's put Gallagher on the floor here. And the fact that Gallagher started to rise back onto his knee again suggests that he's shaken up. And he's clinging on for grim death here. He's hot. This could all go horribly wrong here for PJ Gallagher. I don't really think he reacted well uh, to taking that punch and suffering the knockdown. I mean, it was a good shot that knocked him over. You, you can't fault that. But his eyes looked fairly clear when he got up. He didn't look that it was a, a punch that was going to have a long-lasting effect. But he didn't box very well when he came up. Didn't do anything right. That was a good punch. It was bang on the chin. You could see the effect it had in his legs as soon as it landed. But uh, I wasn't too impressed the way he coped with it when he got back up. The right hand creeping in, and they go back to trench warfare. Which gave us that spark at the end of the fifth. Right hand from Jim Rock! when Anthony Farnell caught up with him towards the end of a fight and he applauded Rock for that, he caught him with a very, very good shot and there's the old stamina coming into question for Alan Gilbert can Rock finish him off? or has Gilbert recovered? he slips himself the Pink Panther he hasn't got long but that surely will give him the fight can he do it? Well, a good fight, crowd in Belfast, and they've been looking for something to cheer about, and he's given it to them now. But keep this going to the end of the round, and I've seen a nice little battle. What a good pro Alan Gilbert is, applauding Jim Rock and coming back with shots of his own. Look at this. Tremendous work from the man from Crawley. Hopefully he'll be rewarded maybe with a southern area title chance or something. He deserves it because he's put a hell of a lot into his boxing career. Rock just the more superior and better class technician here. And giving this Belfast crowd something to cheer about. They hug at the end, it's all smiles. That's what boxing needs. Who has the decision? Jim Rock gets the victory. His 15th in 16 fights. I don't think there was any doubt really, especially with the knockdown, just to clinch it in the last round and score him a big round. It's a lovely punch. Didn't wind his shot up, just came out of his own accord, bang on the button. Didn't seriously hurt Gilbert, but lovely punch. Just bang on the button. You don't have to be a, a tremendous puncher to score knockdowns when you're punching as precisely and cleanly as that. There it goes, bunk. Nice little punch. Punch and the right hand, we think. Yep, and Bueno scores with that dangerous shot. Damien Kelly takes the count. I thought it was a partly balanced thing, Adam, but nope, you can see bang on the button, down he goes. I thought it was caught a little bit square, maybe partly balanced, but the time he took to get back up again, he was definitely stunned by that shot. Bang, beautiful shot. Does get a hit a little bit too much, Willa, doesn't he? His chin's up in the air, hands come down too low. Do you think he's left his uh, debut a bit too late? Oh, oh that was great. Right on the bell, a right hand from that face. And of course, uh, Ian John Lewis can count him out here. But he's up. He's up and he's okay. Will he get the nod, I wonder? 
or is it going to be all square or will Baptiste get it? He's gone for Mark Weller. Mark Weller still completely gone. His legs are very, very jellified. Watch this final punch of the round as the bell sounded. Bang, down he went. And, well, that's a, an interesting score, Claude. Reverse angle here. Bang, right on the bell. I mean, our feeling about him when he was around in his uh, first creation was that he was pretty good technically, but maybe just lacked a bit of devil and variety. Yes, I think that was true. Oh, but there's plenty of devil there with the left hand. Down goes Cat Antonis, and there's our answer, I think. Yeah, that was good. Just got the, the leverage right. Nice left hook from Richardson. Now, here comes the knockdown, and this will make Peter Richardson feel a whole lot better about life as a professional boxer. Yes, he just reacted right as Katz and Tonis came in, just got the leverage and just a sharp turn of the hips, brought the power through with that left hook. And that was a, a good shot from Peter Richardson. I do like that Richardson jab, it has a rapier-like quality about it. Well, that's been developed over years and years in the amateur ranks. Very good point-scoring punch. But it's got a little bit of power behind it as well. There's a style honed before the days of the dreaded computer as well in the amateur game. Well, he was a great representative for the, the North East and for England. A right hand and he touched down. He touched down Richardson and that'll have to be an eight count. Unfortunate for him, it was only a flash knockdown. And Cass Antonis, who floored his last two opponents, well, make that three now, because Richardson, that wasn't part of his script tonight. More movement now for Richardson. Oh, and he's down. That's a more authentic knockdown. Twice in the round, and he looks very, very dodgy on his feet now, Richardson. He saw going wrong for him here in the last round. There's certainly an argument for saying the last round should have been scored 10-7 with two counts. I scored at that, and I gave Cats Antonis the decision by a point as a result. But Richardson gets it. Dangerous looking right hand from Casamonica, who may go for broke here with the cut. But Swear is beginning to bust him up around the face. Another big jab that rocked the head back like a rag doll. Just look at that face. Look at it. Last half minute, round five. Swear has not to get involved, he's got to keep using his jab. It's a bad injury, but he doesn't need to get involved with Casamonica now. I don't think he'll do that either. Ooh. Still dangerous shots, is there damage by the other eye too for Casamonica? It begins to look like it, unless the blood is just flowing across the whole area. It must be a badish cut. in a bad way Casamonica now they need to get him to sit down he's standing up in the corner you can't believe that he's just been floored lovely little left hook he just left himself open Casamonica as he lunged forward a great little counter from Schwer.